All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just gonna get right into it. The best small forward builds in the game. My guy is 6'9", 230 pounds. He is a two-way sharpshooter. So sharpshooter is first, defending is second. I didn't think people, here we go right here. Two-way sharpshooter. I didn't think people really needed attribute videos anymore in the game, but I mean, I guess they do. They wanna see what you can expect, you know, out of a certain uh, guy or whatever. So, hey, it is what it is, man. So, check it out. This is what you can expect to have as a two-way sharpshooter. Your standing layups are gonna be suspect. Your driving layups are gonna be suspect. It's just a fact of life. There's no way to get that layup up to 70. I wish it were because uh, you know you make driving layups a lot more. But if you use if you use the stuff that I'm gonna tell you to use, you'll be successful. Dunks, dunks are just very extra average. You know, I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to get that to 60. That's what I've been working on. Um, like I said, man, with with these guys, it's like this. Everybody's guy's not gonna end up the same. You're gonna you're gonna do the everybody's gonna have the initial max out and the rest of it is just gonna go by how you play, right? So I've been dunking on everybody since I've gotten posterized, which I don't even know how I can get that, but I got it. Um with a 57 dunk and a 54 contact dunk, I have posterizer, but it is what it is. So check it out. Two-way sharpshooter, 6'9, 230. Layups maxed out, dunks about to be maxed out when I get to 90. Uh, Mid-range and three-pointer maxed out. Those are the first couple of things that I got maxed out because, I mean, that's what I do. You, you're going to upgrade your guy based on what you do. Ball handling, I don't handle the ball. There's no point in me having the ball. All I do is pass. That might go up. My pass accuracy, pass vision may go up. If I can get to the 70, that'll be cool. If it doesn't, I'm not having trouble with it, with it right now anyway. Post offense, of course, that's maxed out because I was posting people up. Um, if I got a guard on me, you're getting posted. I'm sorry. It's, it's going to happen. I'm going to take advantage of my mismatch. And uh, and my post fade away, I can hit those pretty consistently. What I have found is, though, you don't want to do post fade away. You want to do, like, the step out jumper or the um, or the post hopper rating. You do stuff like that. You do up and under. You'll be a lot more successful. Rebounding almost maxed out. If I can get this rebounding up to 70, I think it's going to help me a whole lot. I've been doing a lot of rebounding and all that. I don't reach at all. So my steals are probably going to stay at 76. It may go to 80, 78, whatever it's going to go to. It is what it is. I don't reach. The way that I get steals in this game, I just bump into people or I, I let you try to turn and come into me or what have you. You know how you, know how you do. You make you wait until they until they have the ball extended, then you run into their arm and you just get steals like that. Or you bait them into making a bad move. Uh, blocks, that, that's, been, that's been maxed out. I mean, that's probably the first thing I maxed out. Vertical, um... I really hope that I can get, like the next thing that I hope I can get, uh, lateral quickness, I'm only missing one in that. I really don't care about lateral quickness. And I mean, you got people complaining about lateral quickness. Dude, my lateral quickness is a 62, and I can defend everybody. Some people got like in the 70s and stuff, and they still like they can't defend people. I don't understand that. It is what it is. Uh, I feel like lateral quickness, it, it is what it is, man. It's still extra low. So I think it's probably gonna get to 65 or whatever. But uh, if I can get on my next one, my vertical up, and my dunks up, or if I get vertical and, and, and strength up, I think I'll be pretty set with this. You don't even need stamina because you can just do the Gatorade stuff. So uh, vertical, I mean 65, I want that to go on up. Lateral quickness, like I said, 62. Speed, 65. Acceleration, 66. Um, strength is 67. That, that I really do want my strength to go on up so I can hold some of these centers in the paint. I really don't know what's gonna happen. I'm, I'm, I'm doing an actual test because I've been dunking on everybody and every time and every time I go into Gatorade, I'm lifting weights, right? So I'm hoping that I get strength and dunks in the next one. So I'm trying to kind of see if you can control control what you get. But uh, that's all of my stuff, man. So we're just gonna go through it right, right again. You know, dunks and layups are not my strength. Uh, don't get it wrong, he can dunk on people. And I'm gonna show you the dunk packages where you can dunk on people. Uh, three point, you know, contested, ball handling. All, all the rest of the stuff really ain't important, man. Let's go down to these young badges, man. I mean, this is me. Uh, I only got 38,000 VC, whatever. Uh, let's go to these badges. Let's get the info. How do, you, how do you do this? I don't even know how you do this stuff. All right, catch and shoot. Obviously, that was maxed out like the first day because this is what I do. I really don't do a whole lot outside of my archetype. I don't even have deep range dead eye yet, and it doesn't matter. I hit, I hit heavily contested um, deep range shots all the time. I don't understand why I don't have that badge, but hey, it is what it is. You don't need that bad. Limitless range is on silver, but I don't really take limitless range shots. I feel like those are bad shots. This is just me. This is my opinion now. 
This is just the way that I play the game. You get badges and all of that stuff based on how you play. Pick and pop, but look, I don't even really set picks and pop, or maybe they just don't pass the ball to me. I don't know. But the way that I play the game is gonna become blatantly obvious with the badges that I do have. Now, I'm still shooting over 60% just with these badges, but look at, look at what is maxed. Look, glue hands already on, glue hands is on silver. Posterizer somehow is maxed, we'll go on those in a second. Chase down artist, silver, maxed out. Defensive stopper, silver, maxed out. Rim protector, I already had that, I had that like the first night. Uh, pick dodger, this is what I do. I play defense, look, put back king, bruiser, all that stuff is maxed out. I don't really take bad shots, it's gonna take me forever to get difficult shots maxed out. Tyler scorer, I really don't deplete my, you know, my turbo like that. Pickpocket, I really don't reach. So I don't hardly poke the ball away. I think that's probably gonna go to silver or whatever. I, I don't really know what it's gonna max out at, but we'll we'll find out later. Uh, quick reflexes, dog, I don't even know what quick reflexes are. A player who has a quick reaction on the floor, dog, I don't know what quick reflexes are, is, or whatever it is. I don't even know what it does. I don't shoot teardrops. Uh, pick and roller, I don't really roll to the hole like that. Free throw ace, I mean, I don't shoot no free throws. Mid-range dead, I don't even have mid-range dead. I don't really take contested shots and I hit contested shots all the time so just imagine what this guy's gonna be when I get the badges you understand what I'm saying up and under specialist I only do that here and there live city finisher please and then our uh, charge card I still don't have charge card I can get that in, in, in a couple of games in pro-am so that just is what it is um with 67 percent to 90 I got no boost I don't do any of that stuff right there man but the main thing that you need to be worried about with this guy is you know the intangible the things that are gonna make you be better and sing, and make people say, my goal when I play this game is always to make people say, yo, he's a sharpshooter, right? That's what I want you to say because I really tell you, if I had a sharpshooting slasher, it'll be ugly. Or if I had a slashing sharpshooter, but then I probably wouldn't be able to shoot like I am. Anyway, equip animations. The only thing that you really need to be worried about, man, because um, gameplay moves, shots, Shot, I mean, if you want to see my shot, I mean, that's at the end of the video. Free throw, man, I didn't change any of this stuff. I, I probably need to change this to Rick Barry, though. Um, can I change the Rick Barry? Y'all know I rocks with Rick Barry, right? Oh, okay. Well, I don't even know what it was in the beginning. We're just going to leave it at 15. I don't care. Dribble pull up. Hey, Greg the Jet. Shout out to Greg the Jet because my man Groundhog said that he got... He, I just seen Greg the Jet getting busy all weekend, man. I don't know if he got a YouTube channel, but uh, I got this from him. This is probably the best pull-up, dribble pull-up in the game, dog. Normal 13, so shout out to him, man. His link will be in the description or whatever. Spin jumper, I don't care about that. I didn't change any of that. I used the cheesy hop jumper um, 21, 21, 21, just because that's what everybody means. You can, you, can, you can do a step back and, and go by people. It really doesn't work out well. If you're a point guard, it probably won't work, but nobody expects me to do it, so it works for me. Post fade, I need to change that to MJ, because... Uh, I need to change my post fade to MJ, or do I want to change it to Dirt? I really haven't changed it because I don't. Uh, now we're gonna use we're gonna use MJ, and uh, the hook shot. I really don't use it. I probably need to change that to the sky. Can I change it to the sky hook just so I know that I'm gonna do it when I do it? So we're gonna do that. Uh, post hop shots. I left those. I left all this stuff on number one, man. Shimmy fade. Uh, you know all this stuff. All this stuff. I just left it. Left it. Left it like it is. Dribble moves. All of this stuff is default, normal one. I don't think I can get anything outside of these anyway, really, so I just feel like it wouldn't. It would be a complete waste of VC to do it. There's no need of me glitching those moves. Uh, flashy passes for what? Flashy pass for what? And then, this is what you need, dunks and layups. My dog, um, my dog, I, I, I saw one of my people that I was playing with named uh, Saucy. Saucy makes the most fake layups in the world. If your layup is low, he has a pure sharpshooting, uh, pure sharpshooter point guard. He makes the most fake layups of anybody I have ever seen. And I thought they were contact layups. But if you use the crafty layup, what it is is a lot of these layups just look like they're contact layups. But they're not. He just he just goes into a motion where the person thinks that they made contact with you, but they really did. So if your layup is low, use the, use the uh, use this crafty layups. You it's really easy to see when he's supposed to release the ball. You probably don't. You're only gonna miss a couple of shots, a couple of layups. So uh, dunks. Obviously, you gotta have the under basket. 
the under basket regular ones. I, I never really get to use those um, just because, I mean, my standing dunk isn't that high. He's not going to duck on anybody unless he's going to the hole. Shout out to Man Man Grindhard, them side clutches off one. I do those just because they look flashy in, in, in on the break, man. This dunk right here, these are some of the most unblockable dunks in the game. The rim pull, I mean the rim, uh, what's this called? Fist pump rim pulls. Dude, if you see him going up when he loads up, it's not getting blocked, especially if the person is in front of you. It ain't getting blocked. And the next thing you're gonna see is him just fist pumping off the rim. So use these if you got, if you got, um, if you got him, this this animation is coming up. I think it's from the side. Uh, it's from the side where he just he just sprints in and loads up, and then he just I, I don't know, man. I'm trying to show. Hold on. I think it's the very first one. Hold on. Yeah, that one. If you see him doing that one, it's not getting blocked. Like that one. That's the one. That's the one. If you see him doing any of these, this, this it's not getting blocked. So you know it is what it is. You might miss it, but it ain't gonna get blocked. Obviously, the uh, the clutch baseline reverses. You gotta have those, man. I really wish I had the one, uh, the what the the baseline reverse off one. I really miss that dunk. This dunk is gonna get blocked, just depending on. But everybody knows that baseline reverses get blocked depending on the position of the player. If the player's already on the other side of the rim, this is getting blocked. It just is what it is. And something that um, uh, number six. I took those. I took these off because these this I had the uh, what reverse off one, but uh, those didn't really rock with me. But this dunk right here front windmills dude if you're going I, I use this just like the baseline reverse if i'm going baseline and i have the ball in the in the base in the hand toward the baseline you just pull back on the stick you just pull straight back towards you on the stick if you got it on camera uh, if you got it on absolute he will windmill the ball with the hand that he has the ball in they cannot come through your body and block it and i'm going to show y'all i mean it's like like y'all saw the tweets that i put out yesterday i was windmilling on Everybody and like people were like, "Yo, you got contact dunks? Did you glitch him?" I was like, "No." Nah. Like this is what makes people say, "Yo, he's a sharpshooter." That's all I want you to do. I want you to say, "Yo, he's a sharpshooter." But it, it really, I, I use the windmills so I can make sure that I dunk it. Um, and plus, they just look kind of cool anyway. But if the guy's on the bo on the side of your body, away from the ball, this is not getting blocked. So, a lot of times in this game, they won't allow you to do baseline reverse. But he will bust this out, and he'll just hit him. In the, he'll just he'll just windmill on somebody. Like I was playing my dog ATL yesterday. He's like, "Yo, is that a slasher or a shooter?" I was like, "That's a shooter, man. I can actually get park dunks. I wouldn't. Can I get them? No, I didn't think I could. Um, that's really about it, man. This guy is to me a demigod. He can do. I can do everything. I can defend big men. I mean, obviously, if a big man decides to just run into the paint and put two feet in the paint every single time and just say, I'm going to stand here and there's nothing you're going to be able to do about it. Like, there's nothing you're going to be able to do about that, right? Like, like really, what can you do if somebody decides that they just want to score? There's no different than a slasher just saying, I'm just going to put my head down and keep pressing square at the rim. They're going to they're gonna score on you eventually or they're going to, you know, they're going to do it. But at what cost is that going to be to their team? So I feel like the two-way sharpshooter, man, I mean, I get block, I get crazy block shots. I get crazy posterizer animations sometimes. But the main thing I'm out here to do is stretch the floor and shoot the ball on offense. And then on defense, I want to completely shut my man down. I feel like if you're a two, if you're a three or four, I think if you can be a pure archetype or you can be a completely scoring archetype if you're a, if you're a one or a two, but I think I just feel like three, four, and five need to have some element. Like I think that a three, if you can, if you've got like, if you've got something where you can drive to the rim and shoot, I feel like that's cool. Otherwise, I feel like you really need to have either defense or rebounding in your archetype. Like if you're a four, I feel like you need to have rebounding or defense. If you're a five, I feel like you need to have rebounding or defense somewhere in there because there's just too much that you need to be able to do as a as a three, four, or a five. You know, ones and twos, you can you can get screen set for you. You can do all this other stuff. But if you are a if you're a four or five, nine times out of ten, a three, four, or five, nine times out of ten, you're gonna be expected to get your own offense. And uh you're not gonna get much help doing so. And uh one more thing about the jump shot, man. Like I said, my jump shot, this jump shot that I'm using right now, it's it's a green, it's a very green jump shot. But I don't use it because it's, I can get greens almost every time. I use it because I can miss 
And like the timing that look, that's good. You see what I'm saying? The timing that I have on this jump shot, whether I'm early, I'm gonna try to be late a little bit. That's good too. You see what I'm saying? I use it so I can aim for green, but with the cue, if I miss green, then I can still hit the shot. So that's why I use this jump shot. Because even when I miss, I still have a very high percentage chance of hitting. That's that's not going in. Oh, they didn't go in based on the cue. And another thing is, it seems like those 90 percenters, like the 99 percenters, uh, you know, all all whites, all blacks, whatever you use, it seems like those go in on on the, uh, but see like from three, you see what I'm saying? Like the good releases don't go in on three, but it's like the good releases go in on two. But hey, when I'm shooting the three, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm shooting for either set's not going in. Oh, they did go in. Um, I'm shooting for either 75% on either side, or I'm just shooting for straight green. But uh, yeah, that's cash. But uh, you know, like I said, even if I miss the cue, I'm still hitting. That's what's gonna make you, take you to the next level as a shooter. I mean, nobody, it's not even realistic to think that you're gonna hit the cue every time. So if I can miss it and still hit it, then that's why, that's why I'm shooting you know, 60, 60 yard percent from out there, but ain't no, ain't nobody gonna shoot. I don't think anybody really shooting. Only dude I've really seen shooting over 60%. I mean, shooting a really higher percentage than me. It's probably by dude bars, but I don't think bars is taking as many shots as I have. But when you can hit the cue and hit it, but if you miss it, you're still gonna hit it. Like that's a beautiful thing. That's what I look for in a jump shot. I don't look for one that I, I, I have to, you know, this cash. I got a green just to hit it. And like right here, I've shot, what, I shot 16 shots, and I've hit uh, 17, hit 17 out of 11, mad as hell. You know what I'm saying? Like this is how, this is a shooter's mentality. So that's the mentality you gotta have, man. Can't let the percentages play for you, but you know, it is what it is. Y'all see me play park all the time. Y'all see what this guy can do. And if you wanna know what else he can do, just come watch the stream, man. I stream every day, 5 a.m. to, uh, what am I streaming? 5 a.m. to, 9 a.m. and then I come back and I stream on the back end 6 6 p.m. to 6 uh 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. so it is what it is man like I said it, it it it's the game is the game it's all we got I know a lot of people don't like it I know a lot of people feel like they just can't play it but this is all we got and um it just is what it is but I'm telling you this guy right here if you're thinking about making a two-way sharpshooter just watch my streams. Go to twitch.tv slash jeezy. It's down there. Watch what this guy can do. I feel like a lot of, I feel like, like you don't see many two-way players out there. And I, I really feel like it's a shame because you can't get mad that you can't, like last year, there was no option, right, to put defense on you guy. This way, there is an option to be a two-way player. If you can't play defense, then part of that's on you. But at the same time, you know, part of that is you could have chose to make a two-way player and help yourself out too, right? So it is what it is. I got no sympathy for you if you feel like you can't play defense, should have made a two-way player, or you should have played a position like point guard where defense really, it matters, but it's not like gonna hold the team back if you trash on defense. If you're on small forward and your man killing you, if you're playing a two position in the park and you can't stop your guy dog, people gonna get mad. But I mean, we expect point guards to get uh, dropped off. It is what it is, man. I don't already talked too long. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, this is a, a very long attribute video for no reason. And it's just my opinions and stuff, man. Hey, the Falcons, dog, I don't even know what's going to happen. Everybody got hurt. And we're playing real bad right now. This is going to be bad. But anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, y'all let me know what else you guys want to see. What's the next thing you want to see if you want to know how to do that glue hands. Glue hands is you just got to get steals. I just get bump steals is what I get. So I get those. But I'll show y'all how to do that later. Anyway, I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! 360 out this month. Hey, if any of YouTubers that watch my videos and they like my style, man, if y'all want to do a collab, y'all want to run together sometimes, any of that stuff, man, let me know, dog. I'm down. I'm the coolest person in the world. I'm always looking for people to run with. And I'm gone. Peace.